Neil Bantleman, the Canadian teacher jailed on sex abuse charges, has been set free. An appeals court overturned convictions against Bantleman and a teaching assistant. They were both sentenced to 10 years in prison last April for allegedly abusing three young children at a prestigious school in Jakarta. Bantleman, a 45-year-old native of Burlington, Ontario, has long maintained his innocence. The school principal and fellow teachers supported both men, suggesting the case was an extortion attempt for money. With us this morning from Burlington, Ontario, is Neil's brother, Guy Bantleman. Boy, you know, Guy, we've talked to you throughout this whole process um, about your brother. Tell me your reaction to this ruling when you heard about it. Yeah, you know, it's uh, surreal when it first uh first kind of surface we've uh, we've known about this for probably about uh, 36 hours now and have tried to get confirmation and, and tried to line things up appropriately obviously we didn't want anything to uh, spook it at the, at the last moment but uh, you know we saw him walk out of prison about two hours ago so uh, surreal to see that but um, and obviously thankful this phase is over and now it's um, trying to figure out you know will there be an appeal by the prosecutor and you know if not how do we get Neil home as soon as possible and when might you be able to talk with him? Um, I'll probably talk to him sometime over the next day or so. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure, well, I know from the pictures he was inundated with media, and uh, the decision was that he and Tracy would kind of go their separate way and, and get sequestered off somewhere quiet um, for a few days, and uh, then we'd connect. And, uh, um, you know, he sent me a couple pictures, and um, good to see, and uh, I, know, I know he knows, so. We'll, we'll get to that part when we have to get to that part. So, you know, in, in as much as obviously you're pleased with the ruling happening, your family's happy, but it sounds like you're you're still cautious because of, you know, and the trust that you maybe don't have in the system over there. Yeah, you know, you know, it's, uh, you know, one thing that's been interesting is just the, the learning curve here, you know, not, not just, you know, Neil being half a world away, but it's also learning about a different uh, judicial system and, you know, if we learned anything, there there seemed to be deadlines that came and went, and it was never a process that we thought we knew completely. So again, we need to uh, understand what the next steps are. You know, is the prosecutor going to take the case forward to the Supreme Court, and what does that mean for Neil? Can he, you know, can he be released uh, to to come back to Canada and then you know figure out what happens um, after that appeal is heard? So again, we'll uh, we'll take a breath for a few days and mm -hmm. then we'll figure out uh, after that. We've talked a lot about the process, the charges, the case, of course, over the past several weeks and months. Um, we haven't spent a lot of time on just asking you about your brother, and, I, and I'd just like to do that before we leave you um, for a minute, guys. You know, t tell me about your brother's desire to teach, how he feels about teaching. Yeah, you know, Neil's, um, you know, always been great with kids. You know, I know that, um, you know, as I had my children and, and just watching him, He's got this um, wide-eyed enthusiasm uh, and, you know, a personality that just doesn't get rattled uh, as most people do when, you know, kids don't act the way you think they would do or they don't learn, you know, a skill the way you think they would do. You know, he's very calm and he's got a great demeanor for that. So, you know, teaching what, you know, was and is his passion. And, uh, you know, that combined with being able to see other parts of the world and help, uh, and help some communities that maybe were a little less less privileged um you know that that really buoyed you know his life and his spirit and he met somebody in tracy that uh, shared the same values and you know that's uh something we'll have to talk about as time goes on and, you know what his next phase in life is going to be after all of this okay guy bantleman once again thanks for being with us thanks beverly